Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make bread in the Thermomix today. I've decided to make the milk bread recipe and I've pre-programmed it in for my week. So I just press on the picture. It's giving me all the ingredients which I've got out and got ready. And it also offers the nutritional information and good tips and tricks down there. And all you just then need to do is press start. So lightly grease a bowl. I'm actually going to do a quick prove in the oven at 50 degrees because I think that sort of you know saves the time. Um, or you could be greasing the bowl, press next. So place 300 grams of milk. It goes up in one gram, so that's really fabulous for precise cooking, like baking. Next, add 50 grams of butter, cut in pieces. You can tar it back to zero, but it's not. Next, I've got some dried yeast here, or you can use fresh yeast. Bring that in. Next, 20 to 60 grams of sugar. Obviously, less is better. Next, so now I just need to insert the measuring cup, which this is the measuring cup that you know you can actually use to measure out your liquids into the lid. Press next, and on the three dials, you see that for three minutes now it will activate the yeast. If you're in the middle of a recipe and you were sort of wanting to see how much more you had to do, there's three little dots there, and so then you can actually get the recipe detail. Um, then you can go back through and check where, you know, what else is to follow, so that's quite good. Or, you know, there's on those that also could cancel the recipe and you can use the scales. So press next. The lid. So you see in there that that's all warm. So we'll just tar it back. And add some strong bread flour. Again, you can see it weighing out. Just 550 grams. Okay. Press next. So add a tablespoon and a half, a teaspoon and a half of salt. Definitely need the flour on the barrier because your salt kills yeast so it's really important that the yeast is covered. Next. So again inserting the measuring cup into the lid and it'll knead now for three minutes. Now this is the time when it's advised not to leave the thermos because it does jump around a bit because it's obviously doing a really hard job. So the three minutes of kneading's done. As you can see, it's a nice fluffy dough there, which we'll tip out onto the mat. You can swivel the bottom of the blade, actually is a good way of getting out the dough, loosening it anyway, or otherwise you can actually just undo the bowl and let, let it fall in. This is actually quite a dry, nice dough. Uh, put that in the bowl now and put it in the oven for 20 minutes for a quick proof and after that we'll put the oven up to 180 and glaze it with some egg brushed egg and any type of seeds and then we'll put it in the oven for sort of 25 minutes and then we'll be ready not my best plat but it smells amazing um, and it was really quick and easy so 